Howdy, partners. We're going deep into the mountain ranges of British Columbia, Canada. Enter the Chilcotans, far, far away from any civilization and home of the grizzly bear. So saddle up, buckaroo, and join us on a three-day bikepacking journey into no man's land. We're riding an 80 kilometer loop with over 2,000 meters of elevation. Will we suffer? Yes. Will it be worth it? I sure hope so. You boys packing light? It's about 30, 40 pounds. Yeah, that looks light for sure. Yeah, easy. Hey, did you guys bring your hotel slippers? <laughs> no way. Are those from the Ava? I was weighing everything yesterday, like gram by gram. Seeing like which long underwear weighed less. It's What's your setup? Day. This looks pretty light. We really got top two bag full snacks, quick access. Tons of like clip bars and just like food galore. Lots of clip stuff. Some noon little tablets and ibuprofen. Water. Shout out Thrill House <laughs> Cycling. Always got your bear spray. What's the sleeping situation tonight? Um, I brought one extra large sleeping bag that can fit all of us. <laughs> <laughs> How's your setup looking? I got the drone, got the DSLR. My sleeping necessities packed in this bag. I got some food. Show me your food. Do you need some chamois butter? I've never applied chamois butter. I've, I've Do you need some chamois butter? Help me. <laughs> Demonstrate. I don't know, that's for like behind the scenes. <laughs> I didn't spend too much time looking at, at the route, so uh, trust in Connor. No idea what I have in store, uh, other than I got a bike packed with all the necessities I need for a couple days. Well, hopefully all the necessities. Our first day will consist of 30 kilometers of trail, most of which is grueling uphill. But first things first, let's talk safety. All right, everybody, class is in session. Connor. All right, fair safety talk. Since the guy just got bit in the grind a couple weeks ago. Up to take it, uh, gotta take it kind of seriously. And there is like quite a good density of grizzly bears here. First thing, like basically like as we're riding the whole time, we should be like making noise. What can you shout? Hey bear. Hey bear. Like, what if they say hey back? <laughs> It's like a standard joke at all, like eco lodges. <laughs> Usually they just bluff charge you. I've had it happen once, and they like last second just like turn away. Yeah, you know, we have our bear spray like close by. Okay. Comes out, quickly rip it off, safety off, spray at like 20 feet away or closer. So they like bike trails? And the trail is like technically the easiest route for them to walk. Um, it's Labor Day weekend. They're enjoying their weekend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. They've had a lot of labor. <laughs> They've been laboring all summer. <laughs> And the journey begins! We don't want to slip down there. No, sir. Here. Puncture? Oh, I see a bubbling. Uh, we've uh, gone about five minutes, and um, Mr. Safranathan has a hole in the tire. But that's all right, because we will stuff bacon into the tire. If you don't bacon. know what I'm talking about, I'm talking about these little tiny rubber strips that will poke into the tire and it'll seal it. Sandy. If you can hear it on your tires, eh? <laughs> You can tell it's an aspen. Bear claw. Because the way it is. Hey, yo. Hey, bear. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff. I have to do some audio editing here. Cut out all my heavy breaths. <laughs> Jeez, where does the trail even go? Up here. Up. <laughs> Still working with this little tree crossing thing. I think we're seven kilometers, 23 to go. People think we work out. You don't work out. You ride e bikes. You don't have to work out to go on these trips. All you need is a friend that's willing to take you. <laughs> Oh, we're so good. 
We got this. Wait, how many more kilometers? Hello. <laughs> These are claw marks from, a, from bears. Yeah, man, they went crazy on those trees. Wow. Oh, see, that's pretty neat. Hey, bear! We are about 12 kilometers in, reach an open point. It's so hot in the sun, it's dusty. It is hard work, it's not easy. We arrived at a lake in the middle of nowhere to refill our bottles, but we can't stay for long because we still have a ways to go. Oh. We got a bit of a situation. What? At the rate I'm currently going, we just can't do our trip. It's just like, I can't physically go faster. Mm -hmm. And we have elevation and distance. If we all stay together, there's no way we'll do it. Like the full ground. Don't beat around the bush, what's happening right now? All right, we're with uh, two very strong road riders. <laughs> God damn you guys. I will never get over this. <laughs> oh, no. I've a thousand meters a day for a month. We're too slow, they're ditching us. Just no, we're splitting up strategically. We're gonna meet them tomorrow. We're gonna do a little alpine loop. Bon voyage. Bye bye. We got our asses handed to us. I didn't know I was riding with road bikers. Let's go have a beer. <laughs> we found a picnic table. Picnic table? Fire, firewood. Fire pit? Who puts that there? We have to make a reservation here. <laughs> I don't know. Do they accept credit? <laughs> I didn't bring my credit card. I'm low key fired up to camp here because it looked really sick. And I was like, oh, I want to stay here. And then it things just kind of arose in a way that worked out. So, hey. <laughs> Welcome to Matt's Kitchen. Today we're cooking spaghetti and chorizo. Not bad. Not too bad. It was nice to feel relaxed and not fully pinned. We hopped into our hammocks for a full night's rest. And before we knew it, it was back to the grind. Good morning, chill codons. It was definitely colder than I expected last night. Time to get out of here and keep the grind going, I guess. I'm glad we're not going where they're, where they're going. That's too far for me. Just take me to the bunny hill. <laughs> it's on the menu. Instant coffee. Yummy. <sighs> Gotta go. <laughs> we left camp feeling slightly recharged after a cold night's sleep in our bear burritos. Day two will consist of 15 kilometers up and down to reach the Deer Pass Junction, while the other boys complete an alpine loop. We have no idea where they are, no communication, so fingers crossed it all works out. But hey, we're just happy to be here. Wow. This is why you do a ride like this. These windows, the geography changes so much around here. So often you feel like you're in a different world. You go a hundred feet and you're in a new environment. Andrew's just readjusting his bear spray so it's more accessible. When I say, hey, you say bear. Hey, bear. Hey, hey bear. <laughs> Quick break. I have one bottle of water. You have no water. Da -da -da. Stupid, stupid mistake. Hey -oh. Hey -oh. oh, it's too good, man. Wow. It's the running water. 
not much though. Oh! Maybe I should just fill one bottle up, like just as emergency. Yeah. When I say hoi, you say bear. Oh yeah. That's me. Slow and steady was the motto. With half the day gone, we still had quite a ways to go. And with every short descent came a long uphill. Looks like a river crossing, like the real deal. Damn, she just left her shoes off. Ah. It's been a minute since our last river crossing and we just realized we have to do another one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh God. Oh, it's cold. <laughs> crossing number three. Okay. Yeah, buddy. River crossing number four. <laughs> Last one. Let's get it. It's like throw your shoe over. I'm going for the beach. Oh shit. Oh, <laughs> perfect. That was so perfect. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're good. We're good. <laughs> it's okay, I could get that. Better than in the water. Uh, okay, I'll do mine. I'm just gonna like overshoot, man. Oh, overshoot! That was perfect. That was very football too. Okay, here we go. Oh! Oh! It's totally in it. <laughs> My bike. Get out of here. <laughs> Woo! Ah! Could have been worse. Oh, it's pretty wet. Oh man. They're still up there. All the way up there. <laughs> they went to go ride that. Holy shit. We made it to the junction and marked the post with orange tape to indicate that we had arrived. But shortly after, we were reunited. Is it them? Oh! No way. You roached? Yeah, crazy. Oh, we we're like traversing on these like 50 degree scree slopes on this trail. And it was like pretty scary to walk on. And then these like people with horses come by. Whoa, yeah. Yeah. I can't yeah. believe it. How are you? Nice yeah. to see your faces. Yeah. Yeah. Holy Holy one trail shit. up there was like six single track. Yeah. Um, we were bushwhacking, kind of man. Oh, there's so much Holy The slippers are still intact. Did you wear the slippers last night? I went through all the creek crossings. He wore them through the river. <laughs> no way. He put, on, he put them on his feet and he started Something happened with my GoPro and I couldn't film a bunch of like, the good stuff. And the pins were poking like, his feet. He's oh. like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God. I can see the pin marks. Can you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. As you can tell, we have decided to dry our chamois and set up camp. This is Kevin's setup. This is Connor's, con man. Same deal here. As long as you're okay with the possibility of a mouse running over your nose, maybe, or a grizzly tickling your philtrum. Not a bad backyard. Good morning. It is about 5 a.m. Taking down camp. It rained last night. Got some coffee making going on over here. Yeah. 
getting it going. Oh, the reason why we're waking up early is because we have about a 30 kilometer day and this first few kilometers we have is the steepest ascend that, also, that Matt and I have done. Also starts off with a nice little creek crossing. So uh, yeah. that'll wake us up. Hey boys. 7 a.m. river crossing. <laughs> Woo! Oh, she's a cold one. Some cold ah. feet. God damn. All right, I'll try not to undershoot this time. Oh shit, oh no. <laughs> oh, I haven't learned my lesson. Overshot, finally. It's like right about now that your feet are probably like going pretty numb. Thanks, Connor. Oh! Yeah. It like walking through ice water and yelling at the top of your lungs is just as good as a instant coffee. Here we go. I love my life! Not so fast, Andrew. We have two hours to climb the steepest trail of the whole trip. It's gonna be a grind. feels incredible. Or maybe it's the fact that now we get to enjoy some sweet, sweet downhill. That makes the climb worth it. Going down. Oh, it's spicy. Oh yeah, you got it. It was funny, you guys were like, okay, hey, everybody keep it chill, we're in the back country. Okay, go, go! Guys are hauling down that. We thought we had a lot of stuff on our bikes, but check this out. But this is amazing. I'm impressed. I'm impressed. Whoa. Oh. Oh, baby. Yo, nobody get a shot of this. Huh. Jesus. We're almost there. 
We gotta go. Dude, you went absolutely bouncing down the hill. Oh yes! Those trees are amazing. It's nice to get away from civilization sometimes and have all your basic needs carried on a bike. This is type two fun. You know the type of fun that doesn't feel fun in the moment? Sure, we struggled, but in the end, it was all worth the pain and suffering. Man, this is like the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. Yes! Oh, oh, yeah. Yes, buddy. We made it out alive. We made it out. You did it. Yes. Thank you, Connor. Okay, I can right, finally do it. I can't believe we had no technical yeah, yeah. issues. Not, not one. Injuries. Not one mechanical. Really one, like, it was only my like one little puncture. I didn't want to jinx it. I waited yeah. to the end. We oh, made wow. it out alive. Yeah. Yeah. We made it. Good surfing. Yeah. That yeah. Was, yeah. Today was legit the best day. What we rode sure, together yeah. was hands down the best. Yeah. Final words? A little bit sunburnt. Most epic trip I've ever been on a bike. That's a trip. Dream trip. Dream trip. Same time next year. What do I